you know, um, I've tried to make this video a couple of times and every single time I kind of get emotional and I have to keep making the video over and over again. This is probably my fifth time trying to make this video. So, um, I, I just, I kind of feel a need to tell the world about how I feel about my particular situation right now. I don't really have any friends. You know, um, I don't have any family. I don't have any friends. Nothing. I'm all alone in this world. Like, I have no one to count on. Don't have a girlfriend. And I'm just watching, like, it's like you're watching, I'm watching my peers and all the people that I grew up with have girlfriends and families and go on to have families and get degrees and get get good jobs working for company for companies and corporations getting good grades in school like growing up like I never used to get good grades in high school I always used to get bullied I was always the odd kid in the class that got picked on because you know I, I'm not that popular I'm kind of socially awkward like Socially, I'm not that good in terms of situations like I can't pick up on social cues. There's a lot that's wrong with me in the, in the, you know, in the normal sense, in the, how do you say it? There's a lot that's wrong with me in the clinical sense of the world. Like, I'm not the type of guy that wakes up in the morning and has a job, a family, stable life. Like, it's, and... I'm in university right now and I just don't find the motivation to sit down and study for long portions of time. It, it, it just doesn't motivate me. Nothing motivates me aside from making YouTube videos and spending my time editing videos and learning new software to edit videos, but making friends and finding and finding a relationship with a girl that I love and all of those things are kind of foreign to me. I just don't, I don't really have any of those connections. I don't have the ability to make those connections. Maybe is that, is, is that fair to say? I mean, I'm kind of being critical with myself, but I think it speaks a lot to my personality and the kind of person that I am, you know, I I just don't have the mentality to be normal, be like you guys and get a job, work for someone else and grow older, get married, have a family and live in and I I you know it's it's a give and take, you know there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. Growing up I I was always I was overweight, I was called a loser, my my mom, my pa my family didn't really like me that much and I'm not going to talk about them cuz they 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 called the cops on me for videos that I've made about them before and uh it's just interesting how things play out in life like everyone else surpassed me. Everyone else and of course, you know, I know I know you guys are going to say uh Every choice that you've made has led... Every choice that I've made has led me to this point in my life. I understand that. I understand that very well. But I'm just telling you guys, I just have a different outlook on how things play out. I'm not the same person conventionally as you would think. Like, a lot of people, what they do is they go to school, go to university, get a degree, get a job get married, have kids, grow old, and then just die, right? That's typically how most people, that's the normal life. That's what most people would like. That's what most people would do. They go to the university, get a job. And all of those things that most people would want are just not, it's just not something that I would like to do. I just don't have the motivation to sit in front of my laptop and study study for like hours on end for a course and for a course that I feel like gets me nowhere working for someone else that I hate a job that I hate making money that I don't 
I want to make more money. And working a job and having a boss and having to answer to someone and listen to what they tell me. And I just don't want to do those things. I, I don't want to be an employee. Also, I've been lonely my whole life. Like, I never, I was never the guy that would want to have friends or I was always rejected by girls and it's just, yeah, you know, nothing's ever really worked out for me in life. Even this YouTube channel, uh, probably no one's going to watch this video. Um, and I don't know, everything just seems hopeless right now, but maybe it's going to get better. Maybe it won't. Um, the universe has, has a weird way of uh, reaching out to people, for sure. I, I, I don't know, man. Maybe it's because I'm black. Maybe, maybe it's because of this. Maybe it's because of that. Like, it's crazy. It's just craziness, you know? Uh, a lot of people probably aren't going to relate to my situation because I'm different. And when you're different than the rest of the people, they see you as an enemy. They see you as an outcast. And I guess I'm a social outcast because, you know, no community accepts me. Uh, the Somali community doesn't accept me because I'm not Muslim. Uh, the Dutch community doesn't accept me because I'm not Dutch and I'm, and I'm not white. Uh, no one accepts me. I, I'm all alone in this world. Like, I'm all alone. I have nobody. I have nothing to look, to really look forward to or anybody that actually has my back. I'm alone. Just me. It's all me. Family. I'm all alone. Why do you think my name is the Phantom? Because I just, I'm a Phantom. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not a normal person. I don't, I don't fucking follow the societal norms. I don't want to follow the societal norms. I don't want to do those things. I just, I just want to be me. But being yourself is miserable. It's, it's a miserable existence when no one accepts you. No one likes you. No one, no, no one cares about you. Literally nobody. You're lonely. You're going to be alone. You're going to live alone. You're going to be by yourself for the rest of your life. I've made peace with that a long time ago, but it does kind of etch. It does kind of eat at me a lot, you know, and that's probably why I'm smoking so much marijuana these days. And that's probably why I sometimes go on those benders where I'm just drinking alcohol. But I mean, I'm not really an alcoholic, I wouldn't say. I'm probably more so addicted to the marijuana, for sure. I'm not addicted to alcohol, thank God. I'm not addicted to any other drugs. I'm only addicted to marijuana, thank God for that. At least I'm not addicted to any hard drugs. I guess that's the positive in this situation. But having no friends, I, I just... I've never had friends. Like, I would say, these guys are my close friends. This person is someone I can... Because... When you're growing up in high school and when you're growing up in school and you're a young child, like you're going to find a lot of people that are that are close to you, that are friendly, that are your friends. I would say you're going to get real friends. The real friends you meet, you're going to meet them in high, in primary school and secondary school. But anything past that, when you're tw in your 20s, anybody that you meet in their 20s, I would say most of those people are fake friends. They're fake. You will meet a lot of fake people in your life, in your journey through life. You will meet a lot of fake people that just, maybe you have something they want or maybe you're better at something than they are and they're going to use you to get whatever they need. You know, um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. And maybe it's a problem that I'll never overcome. You know, maybe it's a thing that I'm never going to deal with. Maybe I'm never going to have friends. Am I all right? Am I okay with that? I just don't have the social skills, I guess. Maybe I'm socially awkward. I'm socially inept, I guess. I'm socially inept. I mean, that's the reality of the situation. Like, I can't relate to anybody else. I literally cannot relate to you motherfuckers. Like, I have nothing in common with you guys. Because I'm not the same as you. We don't want the same things. So maybe it's good that I don't have any friends. Maybe it's good that I'm lonely. Because no one will relate to me. 
No one will have me. No one likes me. No one is interested in me. No girls will have me. No girls are interested in me romantically. And I have to jack off to get off any sexual release. And I can't afford a hooker. So I can't have sex with a real woman. And um, just all of those things are things that I'm grappling with and dealing with every day. And I wake up every single day and it's like a chore. Like I, I just don't really feel like getting out of bed. I just stare at the ceiling sometimes and I wonder how has my life come to this point? Sometimes I just stare at the ceiling for hours thinking to myself, how has my life gotten to this point? It's obviously been the choices that I've made throughout my life have led me here. All the choices I've made have led me here. I understand that. I understand that. I'm at peace with all the choices I've made, but I just, I just feel like, why me? Why, why is my life so different? Why am I different? Why do I always gravitate towards negativity? Why do I always see the worst in people? Why can I never trust anyone? Why do I always think everyone's out to get me? Why is it always me against the world? Why am I like this? Why am I different from everyone else? Why does no one like me? These are all questions that I ask myself every day. Every single day, like I ask myself these questions, like I can't relate to these people. I can't relate to that person. They can't relate to me. But I just, I wish it was different. I wish, I wish the world worked differently. I wish everything worked different than it is now, but... It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. And it doesn't. And it doesn't. And it's and it's frustrating. It's frustrating. But that's the world we live in. You know, it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing we can do about that, I guess. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I would really appreciate it also if you hit the like button. But if not, that's okay too. But yeah, um, I appreciate all of you guys, man. Like, I really do. I really appreciate you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. I really do. I hope, uh, I hope, I hope it, uh, I hope, uh, things change for me. I really do. But I have to want it. I do have to want it. I have to want the change. And, and I understand that. I recognize that. And a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, why don't you get a therapist? And why don't you do therapy? You know how much, do you realize that? Therapy, I don't believe in therapy. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, in, I don't want somebody inside my brain picking apart all of those things that I've gone through and going through the nitty gritty. I don't want anybody inside my brain. My brain is my brain. I don't want anyone inside my mind and picking apart all the idiosyncrasies and everything that I've dealt with and how I've dealt with it. And I'm going to throw them a bunch of money as well. The money that I don't have. Even if I did have the money, I wouldn't get a therapist because I feel like they're out. They could give you bad advice. They they could fuck up. They could fucking destroy your whole life because they might give you the wrong advice or something like that. So I just don't believe in therapy. So don't give me that suggestion. I'm not going to get a therapist. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to live my life on my own terms and maybe I'll improve and maybe I won't. It is what it is, baby. I'm out.